The search for clues about victims of infamous sex torture convict David Parker Ray has gone international. The FBI is asking the Australian public for help locating a man they believe may have information about one of Ray's possible victims. The man's name is Mark, and authorities are hoping to get information from him about a woman named Connie. Agents don't have their last names, but here's what they do know. Mark sent a letter to Connie and another woman named Candy in June 1990 from Sydney, Australia. In the letter, Mark mentioned having met the two women at a beach, although investigators do not know which one. Mark wrote in the letter that he had spent time in London in 1988, Canada in 1989, and had worked for the AIDS Council of New South Wales in Australia. He also mentioned that he spent time in Paris. The letter was discovered years later by FBI agents who were searching through Ray's possessions. Also among Ray's possessions were several journals in which he wrote about women he had abducted. One entry from December 1995 was about a woman named Connie, whom Ray described as white, about five feet tall, with long blonde hair and a birthmark on her chest. That woman, Ray wrote, was likely born around 1977. Ray has been dubbed the Toy Box Killer. He was initially charged with 37 counts involving three women, Cynthia V. Hill Jaramillo, a Colorado woman who was tortured in 1996, and another woman. He pled guilty to kidnapping and raping Jaramillo and was convicted in 2001 of kidnapping and torturing the Colorado woman. The third case was dismissed as part of a plea bargain, in which Ray was sentenced to 223 years in prison. He died in a prison cell in 2002. Authorities say Ray may have had up to 40 more victims, many of whom could have been murdered. That figure comes from Ray's own diaries. Anyone with information about Connie, Mark, or any other facet of the David Parker Ray case is asked to call the Albuquerque FBI office at 505-889-1300.